always been a team that's that has just really stepped up their pressure against us, and we've and sometimes we quite quite honestly we've, we've crumbled. And when we when we came into this game, we just we just talked about how how important it is just to just remain poised and to stay into the game even if we're not playing well, because Rutgers makes you play that way because they really guard you. And I wish that I could say it was this big tactical thing, but our kids just really, really won the game for us. They really gutted it out. And I gotta give them every inch of this credit for this game. They get 100% of the credit for this game because I just challenged them and said the tougher team was gonna win. And at halftime locker room, I just went down the road for each player. And I told them, I said, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, and it's up to you. It's not a tactical thing second half. It's a getting to the rim, being aggressive, being strong, and guarding the ball, and not giving them giving them dump down looks. And the second half they came out and they just really just really really played and obviously Rachel Coffee was tremendous. She was she was tremendous and she made some huge shots in that second half and you know, obviously Brianna Butler made a couple in a row that was just really just opened the game up and I thought Lacey did a really job really good job of getting to the basket. Uh, they did a really good job in, of on neutralizing and Kayla, that it kind of just, just just pushed her up the lane, and she didn't get deep deep catches, but she had three big blocks in this game, five offensive rebounds. When you get a when you when your post player can do that, you have a chance to win basketball games. And just gotta give her a lot of credit. She's a she's a tremendous player, and our team is really pulled together, and they won the game.